So from Temple, Pennsylvania, we bring on our next guest then. Uh, she started out as a singer-songwriter in 2006. She has released uh, over six CDs. She, she, uh, her children joined her to form a band called B9 Fate in 2008. Um, Yvonne continues to write compelling, inspirational music. Uh, you can visit her website as well. Great Adventure, released in November 2018. Um, her songs are described as inspirational, situational, pulling from life experiences, everyday struggles, and providing encouragement for believers. If you've had one of those days, you can quote, curl up with a hot cup of tea, and Yvonne's music is the perfect remedy. And proud to also say, if you listen to the Christian Media Spotlight radio show, she has a brand new single out. In fact, when we get done with Red's Room tonight, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, you can hear that song on our brand new radio affiliate, ChristianMix106.com. You can check that song. We'll kick off our radio show this week. I'm talking about her new single, When Your Love Came Down. Please welcome, joining us from Pennsylvania, Yvonne Hartman. Yvonne, good evening. How are you this evening? Good evening. I'm great. How are you? doing great thanks for joining us uh how is life in pennsylvania these days and uh what's new with you life is pretty good we had some fairly nice weather today it wasn't as warm as i would have liked we're supposed to have some 70s tomorrow and the next day but it's gonna rain so oh that, that kind of it kind of counteract you get the warmth but the, the wet so it kind of counteracts right. that a little bit doesn't it <laughs> right and then i think i saw once it clears out then the temp just goes yeah, back down again back down <laughs> it's terrible ups and downs all over the place you, you you can never have it just quite right can you no no and i also wanted to plug on uh, wednesday night i will be on cms tv for an interview yes you will <laughs> she will be here on our program where we'll get to continue to know more about her as we're featuring yvonne hartman this week on cms of course on the radio show and she'll be on our program wednesday night for an interview looking forward to that chat by the way should be fantastic on wednesday uh by the way one member of our uh, audience want to make sure they messaged me because they knew you were on so uh cindy says to say hello because uh fellow Pennsylvanian knew you were on tonight so I wanted to make sure Hi, that I, I told you hello tonight so um, gonna come over to my house in I don't think it's it's not this Saturday but next Saturday she's coming over oh fantastic we there you go close. uh your new single of course when your love came down um how fun was that to put out it's off to a great start uh, a lot of people are enjoying that one um what was the funnest part about that one Oh, I don't know. They're always fun. Um, that one, I kind of, I was home alone one night on a Friday night, had nothing to do. It was during COVID. So, you know, people weren't going out or anything. And my husband had a meeting, so he was away and my daughter was um, at work, I think. And so I, I pulled out my guitar and I thought, I'm going to sit down and try and write a song. And the first All thing right. that popped into my head is I'm so discouraged. <laughs> you know, I would be lying if, you know, I put a smile on my face, you know, it, it, that just came out and I was like, okay, that's starting out well. <laughs> um, but then, you know, kind of like the, the rest kind of came, came out then when your love came down, you know, your love can conquer all. Amen. And so the, the song is really nice. It, it turned out nice in the studio. I have a producer that I work with. He's not in Pennsylvania, although we went to high school together. Um, oh, so he once upon a time was in Pennsylvania. Was Pennsylvania then. once at a time. <laughs> yeah, where does he reside Look, now? He's in North Carolina. Oh, that's a little bit of a everything switch. Everything over the internet, and um, so I've been producing with him since um, my remade CD. He's been producing all my songs. Isn't that isn't technology great in that way? I know. You think you know? Ten years ago, we couldn't have done this. So. <laughs> I know it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, What's your what's your producer's name? Kevin McNulty, and All his right. um, studio is Symphonic Mastering Studios. Com, yeah. Nice little shout out to him there. Mastering or something like that. Google yes, it. <laughs> Google it. If you need some if you need some mastering work done, uh, the home of the mastering of Yvonne Hartman's music that you've been hearing a lot lately on our platforms. Uh, he's the guy that does it. Um, yeah, but uh, great. Since we are ha have only four guests tonight instead of the usual five, we have some extended sets. We have a six-song set coming up for us tonight. Uh, what's the first one you've got for us tonight, Yvonne? 
Well, I'm going to sing my new single. Oh, perfect timing. How about that? <laughs> All right. Great segue. Cold when, when your love came down. Here, here it is. Comes. Yvonne Hartman on Red's Room. I'm so discouraged. I would be lying if I said that I'm okay. Put a smile on my face. I work hard. I'm really trying to be something more, show what I stand for, but the world has got me down. I need you to show me your love. Your love single your love came down right here on red's room tonight so of course if you want to hear that song again if it's out on the socials as well you can also hear it 10 p.m eastern tonight after we're done with red's room on christian makes 106.com which she's on there every once in a while as well in her own right for her music yes uh she'll be kicking off this week's about maybe eight or nine of my songs now Wow. Yes. Well, it'll be played again tonight, kicking off the top of the hour. Uh, actually, it'll be, it'll be great because uh, it's a brand new affiliate for us. And your song will be the first one on our radio show on that brand new affiliate. So you get that distinction on that affiliate to being the first song that kicks off our tenure on that affiliate. So there you go. We have a little uh, group in that on that radio station. The program manager kind of um, sent us I guess he sent a message out to a bunch of artists that they were playing on the radio it was when he was with his old station yeah. and um, said, Hey, you guys interested in doing like a Tuesday night hangout. And so some of us said, Hey, yeah, that would be great. So we've been doing zoom calls since before COVID and every Tuesday night we get together and we call ourselves the soul Avengers and there's a group <laughs> of us. <laughs> and it's kind of like, you know, it's like a little Bible, not a Bible study, but we, we like hang out and we talk about all different kinds of things, but um, we pray for each other. And, you know, we even have a face group go group together and we, you know, my 
um, niece's husband had an accident on the farm um, about two so, weeks ago. So cool. And so, like, everybody's praying for him. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, it's a really great group. So, what's his, what's his name so we can keep him in prayer? His name is Jason. Jason. And okay. He's not doing too good. He fractured oh. his skull and some vertebrae and Ooh. has not been good. No, so. I, I think I have seen uh, some photographs on your page. I th now that you mentioned, I have seen that. Um, is he is he still critical? Is he out of the woods critical. or is he still okay? All right, well, so definitely. Be... We heard um, he took a turn for the worse. So, oh um, no, it's been hard to get information because his wife's the only one allowed in. Um, so it's kind of hard to get information. Oh <laughs> goodness, to the rest of the family. Um, she came home very upset the other night, and so we oh, sent goodness. out no update. <laughs> You know, so we only found yeah. out this morning that oh. the reason there was no update is because she came home so upset. So, oh my word, anyway, oh, Jason in your prayers, he needs all he can get. Yeah, and I, I think I probably speak for Red's Room too. Feel free to keep, um, you know, posting any prayer requests you need to on Red's Room or on the Spotlighter community. If you hear updates or need um, a lot of us to jump on in prayer, feel free to definitely do that. We'd be glad to do that. Um, if you hear any updates. Um, also, uh, I was told by producer director over there, um, we ask if you can possibly on your soundboard, raise up your gain on your mic just a little bit. Okay. Yes, on gain on the mic just a little bit there. Uh, so a second tune of the night from Yvonne, what you have for us uh, for your second number tonight? Well, you'll have to tell me if that, that mic is up good enough now. But my I, I, song... I think it's good now. Okay. My it may have been song. just bouncing out the backing track probably is probably what was what was going on there but and i'm doing most of these with guitar so i it should be good then yeah we should tracks, be good but, um this song i'm so excited um this is a very brand new song it has gone to the studio and he does have the background track done for me and i sang the vocals to it um so it's going to be coming out very soon probably once i get it back you know, I usually leave about four weeks or so um, till it actually goes live. But um, this I wrote with a friend of mine. He's become a very good friend. We've co-written two songs now, and his name is Jesse Jones, and he is apparently watching tonight. Uh -huh. so, um, <laughs> this is the first time that he's going to be hearing the song kind of live, I think. Um, actually, I did this on an interview <laughs> last week or so. So... Um, it's called the moment I'm in. And this was based on a phrase that my pastor had done. Um, he had said it in a sermon actually like quite a while ago. And he said, um, don't let the moment that you're in pause the mission that you're on. And um, I didn't realize it until somebody said something last week at church, they had put that phrase above the office in our lobby. And so I, I, when I went out after church, I, I looked up there and I took a picture of it. So I have a picture of they have the phrase up there. But that's what this song is based on. And it's called The Moment That I'm In. And Jesse says, love you, Yvonne. He is watching. <laughs> Jesse. There he is. Yvonne Hartman right now on Red Star. All right. The Moment I'm In. At one of those days when nothing's okay And it seems like I'm falling apart When nothing goes right, I'm losing the fight It's a day that I'd like to restart I feel like I'm losing my way The moment I'm in, I'm ready to quit It won't stop the To see what I'm doing, it's easy to stumble and fall. 
too many things staying in my dreams surprising I'm sleeping at all I feel like I'm losing my way the moment I'm in I'm ready to quit won't stop the mission I'm on I'll follow his call won't let me fall when God tells me go I must go to reach every soul Enjoy Turns the pain into joy and gives you rest. The moment I'm in, I'm ready to quit. It won't stop the mission. Oh. That's the moment I'm in. Moment I'm in. Sorry, I had a little coughing thing there. I got a phone. <laughs> you recovered nicely there. Yvonne Hartman here on Res Room tonight. Uh, what's been some of the driving inspirations behind some of these songs you've been writing lately? What sorts of things have been on your heart as you go to write music lately? Well, a lot of the songs that I write are inspired by little phrases that I hear, usually by my pastor in a sermon. So I take a lot of sermon notes while he's preaching. And usually when he says like a little phrase, like the one that I used in this song, I went, oh, that would be a good song. And I like write it down. And sometimes I'll even like put asterisks on either side to make it stand out in my notes, you know, and then I have like another like little note section that I put in my song ideas. Um, but most of the time, it's just something that somebody says, or, um, you know, maybe I'm talking to somebody and they're having a hard time and they're telling me about a situation and it becomes a song. <laughs> you got to watch what you say to me. You might end up in a song. Now, are you the type that tends to release a lot of music right away? Or do you have like this catalog of like 20 or 30 odd plus different tunes that have yet to see the light of day that you've written and no there. i i have been releasing stuff you know for since 2007 basically i released my first cd and it was like 18 songs i don't sell that cd anymore um but oh. after that i did like 2008 and then i think i did 2010 2015 um but yeah most of the time you know i used to wait until i had like a full cd and then i would release the cd and have a cd release party and you know kind of covid changed all that um, I did my last CD release party in 2018 and then um, had a couple of songs come out in 2019 and I, I released them as singles. So I've been doing a lot. You shifted more of the singles. single route like a lot mm -hmm. of people have been doing now. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of singles. And so as soon as we get them done with the studio, I schedule them for a release and they go out. Um, so right now, with the songs that I've done here, I think the moment that I'm in is going to be the last song on my new CD, and I'm scheduling a CD release party for April 
9th, I think. I'm checking with the church to see if the, the fellowship hall is available, but that's kind of my plan right now, April 9th. So stay April tuned 9th. for that. Stay um, tuned. I'm so excited. I even made this board. I did one at my last CD release party where I designed a board <laughs> with the CD cover art. And um, when everybody came, I had like silver and bronze and gold Sharpies and they all signed it. And I look at that board oh. and, I, and it like, it just touches my heart for the people that showed up to my CD release party to support me. So what I wanna do at my CD release party this time, I'm gonna do something really special. Um, so you'll have to keep an eye to make sure that the date sticks because I'm I didn't confirm it yet with the church. All but right, all anybody right. that comes to and I will be Facebooking it live, but anybody that comes to my CD re release party will receive a free CD or USB drive with the new CD music on it. There you go. So if you're in and around the Pennsylvania area, the Temple area, stay tuned, stay glued to her Facebook page and details are forthcoming on that CD release party. Um, We've definitely been enjoying featuring your music, not only here on Red's Room, but on our platform as well. And of course, uh, she'll be on our platform Wednesday night, I believe, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, I believe is what we've uh, uh, landed on on Wednesday. So check her out on there as well. Uh, third song for us. What you got for us tonight? Okay. This is called Faith Like That. And this is another song that I wrote with um, a woman from the group, the songwriting group that I'm in. I'm actually going to Nashville in March and we are she's actually um, about an hour and a half from me and so we are actually driving down to nashville together <laughs> for this group and jesse's going to be at that boot camp as well it's a songwriting boot camp so i'm so excited and her name is sarah veterani and she is we're, we're driving down she's driving and we're driving down the day before actually two days before so we're driving down on tuesday the 22nd and on Wednesday evening, I am scheduled at the Commodore Grill in Nashville, PA. Nashville, Tennessee. Sorry, PA is just Nashville, PA. Of course, I have it. Of course, I have it. <laughs> I will be at an open mic starting at 6 p.m. I think we're the first ones. Me and my friend Evie um, are signed up to sing at this open mic. And that's this and, Wednesday? Uh, starting at 6 o'clock, Commodore Grill in Nashville, Tennessee. So hey. That is going to be exciting. <laughs> So that's my next gig after, I think that's my next, my next coming gig after the interview this Wednesday. So anyway, we wrote this song and it's called um, Faith Like That. Um, this is a very um, biblical song. It talks about the woman that bled for 12 years and she just had the faith to touch Jesus's hem. If I could only touch his hem, then I will be healed and um, the Roman soldier who came to Jesus and he said, you know, look, you don't need to come to my house to, to heal my servant. I know if you just say the word, my servant is gonna be healed. And by that faith, his servant was healed. Um, talks about the faith of Abraham, who, who was moments away from sacrificing his son and God said, no, 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 wait, okay. You've proven, you're proven your loyalty to me. You've proven your faith you know, go take that ram and butcher that instead, sacrifice that. Um, Noah <laughs> spent 120 years building an ark and there was never any rain before. You know, God told him there was gonna be a flood. He probably had no idea what a flood even was. <laughs> so all those people from the Bible made it into this song and it's called Faith Like That because you know what? I'd like to have faith as big as the people that are in this story, in this song. It's called Faith Like That. Faith like that, Yvonne Hartman on Red's Room. She didn't need the fanfare, she didn't want to see. If she could only touch his hand, she would be made clean. She didn't doubt his power, she trusted in his power. Bravely reached her hand out through the crowd. Lord, give me faith like Abraham, ready to sacrifice it all. Like Noah, for he saw a raindrop fall to walk into the unknown. When I hear you call, I want to have, I want to have, I want to have faith like that. Give me that. Give me that. 
like that The servant wasn't well He told Christ not to come Just say the word Jesus And healing will be done the Roman's faith was greater Than many he had seen The servant was healed Cause he believed Lord give me faith Like Abraham Sacrifice it all like Noah, or he saw a rage of fall to walk into the unknown. When I hear you call, I want to have, I want to have, I want to have faith like that. He gave me that, he gave me that, he gave me a faith like that. Lord, I'm crying out. Help my young Abraham, ready to sacrifice it all, like Noah, before he saw a raindrop fall, to walk into the unknown, when I hear you call, I want to have, I want to have, I want to have faith like that, like Abraham, ready to sacrifice it all, like Noah, before he heard a rain, saw a raindrop fall. Faith like that here on Red Zero. That's what we all want to a degree, right? Just, Amen. just, a, just, just a deepen faith in, in the Lord. Hopefully, that song inspires somebody to deepen their walk with the Lord and um, and just, just trust His goodness that He wants for us each and every day. Yvonne Hartman is here with us here on Red Zero tonight. Uh, what's the next song you got for us? All right, this one somebody talked about earlier and um i did a cover song so i'm gonna do that tonight and it's called rise up lazarus aha uh-huh. the cane King. song yeah <laughs> you're by far not the only one at least in our circles who has taken a real liking and an impact to this song what it is what is it about rise up that uh, impacted you and just and encouraged and motivated you to do a cover of this song Um, I don't know. It was a song that really touched me, and um, I thought it was a really catchy song, and it had a great, great message to it, and, um, you know, it was basically like, you know, we were dead before we accepted Jesus as our Savior, and, you know, he's telling us to rise up and come out of your grave just like he did for Lazarus, and um, I was practicing this song. When I do concerts, I usually do about um, maybe 50-50. 75 25 percent my songs and cover songs because you know some people they like to hear songs that they know and you know if you're going someplace you've never been before they've never heard any of your songs so if you only sing originals that's all they you know they don't know they won't know anything um so i always throw some covers in there and this one was one that i had been practicing and doing at concerts and um it was actually before when your love came down before I wrote that and I had kind of had this dry spell of songwriting and and I'm like I was talking to my producer and I'm like I got nothing (laughs) I got nothing and he goes well did you ever think about doing a cover you should do a cover and I'm like oh I always like to do my songs you know I have so many my by the way I've written my 85th song we just finished our 85th song me and Jesse the other night just finished my 85th song 85 look at you go 85 so this is gonna be my seventh cd um, but yeah, so when we talked about doing a cover, I'm like, hey, I, I would really like to do a cover of Rise Up Lazarus. So that's what we did. So I'll do that tonight. It's called Rise Up Lazarus. And I'm going to do this one to the track. So hopefully my vocals are not too late. In the 
dark and all alone Growing comfortable Are you too scared to move and walk out of this tomb? Buried underneath the lies that you believe Safe and sound, stuck in the ground, too lost to be found You're just asleep, and it's time to leave Come on, rise up, take a breath, you're alive now Can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us Out from the grave like Lazarus, you're brand new The power of death couldn't hold your name, the thing that filled your veins, was more than blood, it's the kind of love that washes sin away, now the door is open wide, and the stone's been rolled aside, the old is gone, the light has come, so come on and rise up, take a breath, you're alive now, can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us? Out from the grave like Lazarus, you're brand new. The power of death couldn't hold you. Can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us? Out from the grave like Lazarus, rise up, rise up, rise up. Gonna rise up, take a breath, you're alive now. Can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us? Out from the grave like Lazarus, you're brand new. The power of death couldn't hold you. Can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us? Out from the grave like Lazarus, rise up, rise. Rise Up, Lazarus, a cover yeah. song brilliantly done by Yvonne Hartman. Yes, by indeed. the way, the vocal, the background vocals on most of my songs, when you hear background vocals, that is my studio guy. So that's Kevin McNulty. Oh, that is your studio. That is Kevin. All right. Yep. There you go. We are going to try to feature that one. Uh, I think it's been a while since we put, played that one. So we'll, we'll feature that cover song of Rise Up here on our radio show uh, here in coming weeks as well. We always enjoy featuring Yvonne stuff on our, our radio show. In fact, my radio show is on. It's kind of weird hearing my voice in two spots at once right now. It's creeping me out. Uh, Cindy says, I just heard that song, the Kane song, that is earlier this evening at a local thrift store. So this is kind of great that you played it. Probably wasn't my song, right? It was the Kane song. Pr probably was the Kane song, probably yes. Kane, not me. David Unless you're Dixon to Christian Mix 106 or you know then Joe's maybe radio show then then maybe that's true I mean Christian radio notes buyer radio fish locker radio they're all playing myself a lot of a lot of a lot of the stations that were on yes indeed yeah. um hey man glad I tuned in says David uh it's such a great song says Josh yes great song as well says Lisa thank you all for tuning in tonight uh, what's the next uh, tune you got for us there Yvonne? okay do we have room for two more this yeah. next song is actually like really short. Sure. Uh, you know what? I'm going to end with the surprise song. I have a surprise oh. for you, Joe. Uh, oh, oh, you do? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I'm sneaky. Okay, uh, you, so yes, you are. Song, All right. The next song that I have is called Walking on Water. And um, this is all about, you know, seeing Jesus walk on water and 
um, I think it was Peter got out of the boat, you know, he wanted to have the faith to walk on the water and walk out to Jesus. And he began to sink. And Jesus said, Oh, ye of little faith. And he grabbed him and pulled him up. Um, and that like this walking on water song is kind of of my ministry and following God's call in order to follow God's call in your life, you have to have the faith to get out of that boat and follow God's call in your life. And that's kind of what this whole song is about. It's called Walking on Water. Knocked over my life. Song standing there, out there on that water. It's safe where I am, but if I start to on water Yvonne Hartman such a peppy too I love that one here on uh, Red's Room Davis says all these songs are awesome my favorite was the one you played guitar on I absolutely love the lyrics thank you uh, David for tuning in Uh, Scott Parsons says never heard this song before Uh, it is awesome with a very powerful message yes thank you Scott for watching tonight thank you everybody for music video out there for it as well for this this last one i think for, there yeah, is walking water remember yes. you um actually featured it on a Ho- night of hope yes i did yes mm-hmm. uh and uh hopefully she'll be on i actually i know she i think she has two songs on our next night of hope or anniversary special so yes thrilled to feature her stuff on there again she'll have two songs on her four night night of hope coming up uh, later on this month less than two weeks away Ugh, yeah. don't know how i feel about that um <laughs> You do have, <laughs> you do have, you sneaky sneak, you sneaky sneak. Apparently, there's one more left, I guess, oh, wow. and it's a surprise of some sort. I it have is. no idea what this is. So but I uh, wrote this song like a long time ago, and um, uh huh, 
there's a uh, YouTube video of it out there, and I just started to do like production on this song, so I've, I'm trying to like do my own stuff on it because I never really wanted to pay to have it produced because <laughs> it's a really short song, and it's for Joe for his birthday. <laughs> It's your day, do what you want to do Yes, I say this day is for you Just one day every single year It's that day that God sent you here It's your birthday It's time to celebrate It's your birthday It's time to celebrate It's your birthday It's time to celebrate your birthday happy birthday joe uh, thank you very much <laughs> what, you're welcome what, oh thank you yes i remember uh i last week on my birthday e my birthday is this past monday um uh, and uh, our community along with the red zoom community surprised me on sunday night with a big old zoom with like a couple of dozen people for goodness sakes caught me off guard and uh i remember you came on and you actually did that song over zoom i was quite yep. yeah thank well, you actually, for doing that, that was the recorded that was my recorded thing my with my drums it had drums <laughs> yeah, it cool. yeah. It probably didn't sound great over like right now i have my mixing board you know tied in so it sounds a little bit better this way so what what is the official title of that it's your birthday it's your birthday yeah. yes and so it's actually being like recorded and all that and yep well yep. it's out i used to post it on people's page for their birthday all the time that's right so yes. i did it for like uh, a couple of years and people are like yeah i got that last year oh yeah i got that last year and i'm going yeah i think it's time to stop posting it on people's is. facebook page but now Matt, there's so many people that probably haven't heard it no i haven't i years. hadn't till then yeah that was oh it was fantastic thank you uh for your well wishes thank you for that great surprise uh <laughs> randy got my birthday week that was fantastic it was such a great touch on sunday having that uh, musical um uh, interlude there on sunday as well really appreciate all uh, your support of not only red's room um uh, but for all of us at cms too you've been such a great support and a great asset to everything that both of our platforms are doing it's a pleasure having you here with us tonight um for those that want to support your music and keep in touch with all the the gigs you have coming up the cd release party coming up as we mentioned to be announced in april uh all the new releases all the music all the stuff where can they connect up with you online and stuff like that well i'm on all those social media sites um the main thing is my website yvonnehartman.com y-v-o-n-n-e-h-a-r-t-m-a-n.com um, and you can find links to all of my social media there. But um, Facebook is Yvonne Hartman Music Ministry. Instagram is Yvonne Hartman Music. Twitter is Yvonne Hartman with an underscore. If I would have known better when I created that account, I would have done Yvonne Hartman Music. Um, but uh, I do have a TikTok. I don't really use it that much. <laughs> I don't usually use Twitter that much either. I'm not a Twitter. I, I, don't, I don't either anymore. And I do uh, have actually. A, a LinkedIn as well um so now is is the underscore is that one of those accounts where it's it's once you create it it's hard to, or next to impossible to change it to something so. else I've never, I've never tried to change it so i don't know um but I, I the funny thing is i'll tell you the thing about yvonne hartman yeah yvonne hartman was the like villain in um torchwood that's oh. like doctor who yeah okay oh, okay uh, yeah so if you google yvonne hartman most of the time you get all this like torchwood stuff before you see my stuff so like, you get doctor who it. before you, you compete with doctor who uh, well the funny thing is yvonne hartman was the character's name it's not the actress's name it's the yeah. character's <laughs> name and not only that she was in like 2000 and seven or something like that so and killed her off but then i understand oh. brought her back you know so i, I know, was maybe i was all those people are googling my name to try and find me and they keep finding her i was it's just i was just gonna say <laughs> if they were ever to recast i mean you could technically literally play yourself i know i, I mean could. Could. <laughs> in, in, name cyborg, only, in name only in name only very strange in, in name only we don't want it we want to portray like a villain or anything you wouldn't right. you wouldn't you wouldn't play yourself in its truest form no it, it'd be in a, in a right. in an alter ego of a villain sense not yeah yes 
We want to make that so clear. I also did want to mention that in May, I will also be at the Columbia Presbyterian Church for Four Street Cafe, the same place Lisa is going, I think, in March or April. Okay. So I will be at the same place. It's in Pennsylvania here. Um, so I will be out there with my good friend Liz Collins, and right. we're going to be doing a combined show out there. We're going to um, practice some stuff together and everything. And then in um, – June, I believe I will be at Karen's place, and that's kind of like not really announced yet, but I guess I just announced it. But in June sometime, <laughs> I'm supposed to be at Karen's place, so stay tuned for that, the date and everything and the time. And then also in July, I will be at C Truth Cafe up in Mountaintop, PA, so I get up into the Poconos area, so I just scheduled that one. So. Very nice. Keep an eye on my schedule for all of my tour info. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much, Yvonne, for joining us and for blessing us with your talent and your music. It's always great featuring you here on both of our platforms. Uh, thank you for everything you do um, and sharing the love of Christ uh, everywhere you go and many continued blessings and uh, just wonderful opportunities for you as you continue to share your wonderful gift. Thank you for being with us and look forward to chatting with you Wednesday thank as you. well on, on our platform as well. All right. Thank